Hi everyone. Well, as you can see, today is pizza day, Marco's Pizza. And here's a beautiful little um, picture of a pizza here. I've got a couple pieces and I'm going to, i got to get into it, you know, before it gets too cold. So, I'm going to use a fork and a knife to see how that works, first of all. When you go to Marco's, they just give you these little plastic things and little plastic fork and a knife. At least the one where, where, where I go, that's what they do. So it's really nothing. You can't cut anything with that stuff. So I just have to pick it up with my hands. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Let's go ahead and put some some cheese and some pepper on it. The funny thing is, let me tell you, my daughter called me and I talked to her and she said that they are also having some Marco, Marco's pizza today. Isn't that funny? What a coincidence. And apparently they're having some kind of, or at least part of the pizza is, is there a barbecue pizza? Well, I guess so. Don't want to put too much cheese on it. You know, when you put too much, too many sauces and things on it, it just kills the taste. And this is a deluxe pizza. Did I mention that? Did I also mention to, to uh, subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment. Tell me if you, if you like Marco's Pizza, if you've been there. What kind of pizza do you like? Do you put this kind of stuff on it? This uh, red pepper? What is this anyway? It's called. No, it is a, it is a Marcos brand. Crushed red pepper. This is also a Marcos brand. They package this. Grated Parmesan cheese. Got this over here so it won't mess up the view. And let's go ahead and maybe this will be a, a thumbnail. Okay. I'm not moving it around to be funny because I'm trying to get the light just right. Okay. This will have to be it. There. Fake smile. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's get down to it. Better have a little glass of water here. So I thought that was a, a funny coincidence. My daughter having Marco's pizza on the same day that I'm having it. Hmm. You know when you put this kind of Parmesan cheese on it, it already has cheese. Now this is the, here's a picture of it up close. You can see it. You can see the, maybe some onions in there, the pepperoni. You can see the cheese, the sauce, some little kind of peppers, and some meat. What kind of meat is that? I can't remember. Here's a nice piece of pepperoni right there. And I apologize because I'm going to do my bad Italian accent. We're having a pizza today. Trip to have some pizza here. That's all I can say. Maybe I'll just cut that part out. I think these are like little, little green peppers. I can't remember what all they put on it. It was a whole bunch of stuff. 
It looks kind of like a, a green pepper. And in this area, Marco's, when one of those, um, they call them like a customer opinion poll where they ask about the best pizza and the best hamburger place and the best, uh, the best of everything. So Marco's Pizza won that a few years ago. Maybe they still, I don't know when they had one of those contests. I thought it was every year. They publish it in the paper. It's just something about pizza. My mother always said, I heard her say that pizza was a, was a healthy meal. It had everything in it. But it's not really healthy. No pizza is healthy. Look at those nice little clumps of meat there. How about that? Now this is the thin pizza. Did I mention that? And I found out that the thin is offered on everything except the, the extra large. I think it's just the extra large. It's the only one where you have to get the have to get the um, the thick crust. All those flavors and peppers. I mean, they really come out. I don't want to be a, a fancy fancy pants here, so I just pick it up with my fingers, and that's the way I eat it when I'm at Marco's, whenever I get to go there. Because it's too hard to use the little plastic forks and knives to cut things up. Look how thin it is. That's the thin. I have to think, well, you're, you're, you get more for it if you get the, the thick crust, and I guess you do, but I like the thin. Trying to read it. Can't. Can't read a thing. I can read that. Marcos. This is so good, the way everything just kind of blends in, all the different flavors and the ingredients. I love it. And it's kind of a fancy pizza place in town, but it's also real expensive and it has these weird, uh, bizarre names I don't even know. I couldn't even pronounce them. But something like Marco's is the Everyman Pizza Restaurant. And I love the big windows. I like a restaurant that has big windows. You can look outside and see them and let's let the sun in.
wish this could last longer. I still have a couple more slices of this and I'll pop them in the oven later with a little bit of salad. I meant to ask for anchovies. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I like them okay, but I always forget to ask for them. It's the Italian way, I guess. Add a free crust topper, like garlic sauce, parmesan cheese, while well, we have that, Roma, Roma seasoning, and what's this? Uh, Roma sun seasoning. Not really familiar with that, but I have these pepper things too, I like that. The dough is made in the store every day, fresh, daily. The sauce is an original Marco recipe, and, and Marco started, I think, in 1978, but I can't remember where. I did another video on my channel about the sandwich. A, um, I think it's the Italiano, maybe something like that. And I had a little bit more of the history of Marcos, I guess. Preheat 325 to 350, place the pizza, not the box, in the oven safe pan. Yeah, don't, don't put the box in the oven, okay? And heat for five to nine minutes. I guess that means that, you've, that you're bringing it home and you're heating it again. Here's franchise opportunities available. Look at that. Here's your chance to get in on a delicious business opportunity with one of the fastest growing pizza companies in America. We do things the Italian way with passion for our process. Passion for our process. That sounds nice. Our product and our people. Let's read that again. Passion for our process, our product and our people. For more information, go there. Yeah. Hormel Foods. So it's owned by Hormel Foods? Foods? I thought I didn't know. I think one of my dad's cousins retired from, yeah, from the Hormel Meat Company back in the, the 50s. I think that's it. Let me know what you think about Marcosa. What is your favorite pizza? I have to say, I guess it's, I'm not any connoisseur ex expert about it. A lot of things taste the same to me. And I like every kind of pizza, just about. But I guess I like Marcos best. And I'm going to call it a meal. Peace out.